Behind schedule here. Let's go to the picks, please. The moment everybody waits for every week. Let's go! I'm going to take the points on the road here. 4 0 against the spread. He starts to come and then he pulls out. This is a really thickly built guy. I don't know what to say. Those are the picks brought to you by Bill Brown Ford. We have a full slate of bowl and NFL football, so let's jump right in. I'm still leading by two games. As we go down to the wire, God help us with these bowl games. Oh, my <laughs> God. The Auto Nation Cure Bowl. What's it a cure for? Tulane minus three and a half as they take on the Raging Cajuns of Louisiana. David. Uh, you got age. Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to start with what I was about to say for the game. Two QBs of color in this game. Two Louisiana schools playing in Florida, of all places. I'm going to go with Tulane in this game. Over to Shelly. Yeah, has anyone watched either of these two teams all year? Mexicans. Yeah. Stoney has. Oh, well, I'm going to take uh, oh, Louisiana, sure. <laughs> Tulane's got really nice football helmets. I'll take Tulane. Game number two, Fresno State minus six. As they take on Arizona State in the Vegas Bowl. David. We Herm might lose our Browns. Herm Edwards is black, and he's coaching this game. I'm going with Arizona State. Excellent a synopsis. We go to Mikey. I don't think Nikhil Harry is playing in this game, right? He's one of those Correct. guys. One of the guys skipping the bowl game. That guy's an absolute stud. I'm going to pick, since he's not playing, Fresno State. Um... The hell with it. Give me Arizona State. I, that's a lot of points in a goofy bowl game. Give me the six. I'll take the Sun Devils. Game number three, Utah State minus seven and a half. They take on North Texas in the game no one asked for, the New Mexico Bowl. What a reward. David. Give me my steak, medium well. That's right. North Texas is 40 minutes away from my favorite city, Dallas. Wow. So because of that, I'm going with North Texas. Over to Sully. They're coming now. They're coming, and they're coming from all kinds of angles okay thank you gregory michael wow how do you possibly follow that um i'll go against Second david hit. pick utah state all right uh utah state they're better uh app state minus six and a half how did we come up with these bowl games this is brutal right app all state tomorrow, minus six and a half to take on middle tennessee in the new orleans bowl i mean david what are we doing i don't know it's <laughs> I, I, I did sleep with my neighbor's wife is giddy pot playing in this game i don't giddy know Mike. Or that um, guy Reggie Upshaw with the male <laughs> pattern baldness. But here's the thing. Middle Tennessee will win this game because App State has no coach, and he took both coordinators, so I'm going Middle Tennessee. Where did Satterfield go? He went to, oh, my God, Louisville. Yeah. Well, to hell with him. He blew the Penn State game. <laughs> yes. uh, over to Sully. Yeah, what a, what a great matchup here, App State, Middle Tennessee. Yeah. Um, sure, Appalachian State. Give me the points. I mean, one team doesn't have a coaching staff. To hell with it. I'll take, uh, what are they, the Blue Raiders? Blue Bombers? Who cares? Georgia Southern minus three and a half against Eastern in the Camellia Bowl. Yeah. Everybody yeah. remembers growing up watching the Camellia Bowl. <laughs> God help us all, David. It's I'm sack time! I'm picking this game just for TJ. They last won a bowl game at Eastern in 1987, so I'm going Eastern here. What bowl game was that? Uh, I don't remember. I looked it up. Good talk. Uh, Sully. Yeah, of course. How can you go against Eastern here? Hey, glad they got to that bowl game. Uh, go EMU. Hopefully they win. You know what? They're a lot better than the record indicates. They had a couple tough OT losses, including at San Diego State. They seem to play well in close games. You're going to give me a, a three and a half? Why not? Give me Eastern. Thankfully, we can go to Sunday now because these bowl games, my God. Oh, my God. How do you pick the Lions? How, how are the Lions going to win this game? The Steelers, they're so hot. This is so hot. Mm. Little bonus cut there. Mm. I need the second part of that again. Oh the my Steelers God. are just so hot. What has happened oh my since God. then? The Lions. How, I, how oh. are the Lions going to win this game? The Steelers are so hot. Oh, oh. oh. oh my God. He sounds loaded. Oh. Steelers are just so hot. Alternative ending there. Wow, we never heard that before. Incredible. <laughs> Cowboys going to Indianapolis. Indy laying three, David. Indy is in the playoff chase. They need this win after last week's Six loss. Six more inches. I'm going Indianapolis here, and I have a friend that lives there. Over to Sully. Yeah, oh, my go God. Box. The Steelers are so hot. Another two touchdowns for Ebron in this game, I'm sure. Give me the call. <laughs>
<laughs> you sound like Pat O'Brien. <laughs> Oh my God, how do you pick the Lions? I, I, how are the Lions going to win this game? The Steelers, they're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Colts, game number two. Patriots minus two and a half. They go to Blitzburg. David. You know what? The Steelers are not so hot right now. And the Patriots just have their number. And Edelman's going to go deal off. with blackface? I mean, Tomlin. Oh, yeah. Jesus, man. Let's go, <laughs> uh, Patriots. <laughs> over to, over to wow, Sully. picking against your Steelers. But you know, David, never pick against the Patriots. <sighs> ever. Even against your team. Give me New England. Especially against my team. I yep. know. Oh, I'm with Sully on this one. I, the spread looks too easy. But the Steelers are just so not hot. <laughs> uh, game number three. Saints lay in six. They play the Panthers, who seemingly haven't won a game in about three months. David. Another team that's not hot. I don't know what happened to Cam Newton and the Panthers. They just can't Man, get it the done. Steelers are so hot. Let's go Saints. <laughs> <laughs> Over Sully. Yeah, why not? Give me the Saints to cover. They gotta, they gotta lock things up and get hot going. They, about it, they have to get hot going into the postseason. Give me New Orleans. You need a Hummer. <laughs> I, I got to take the Saints. I Just the Panthers are absolutely grotesque. But you know what? Here's the problem. Saints probably win this game. Watch the Panthers cover. Because no. that, that same defense can be had through the air. But mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take the Saints. Uh, Giants are a one-point underdog against, I almost said Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> What's going David, on? David, I don't know. It's Friday. I'm losing my mind. The Nashville Titans. <laughs> Come on here. Um, Mariota, they need to win this game. They need a big Those game. People? Odell B, it's Odell B. Odell sorry, Beckham is oh not playing. God. <laughs> I'm going Titans here. What are you, sipping out of Greg's cup? Over to Sully. Yeah, what, what was Greg drinking? I wonder. Oh, my uh, God, this is so hot. I'm going to agree with David. Give me the Titans. David, I'm just hoping you're going to dance, though. You always dance to this. What's my rule? The Giants started out 1-7, and seven, and I started to say, guys, now watch. They're going to screw their opportunity and win a bunch of games I don't care about. I have picked the Giants like the last five weeks. I'm going to do it again because they live to <laughs> torment me. Thank you, David. And they're a hot team. Yeah, and they're so hot. <laughs> they'll win a useless game and ha we'll have no shot at Dwayne Haskins. Uh -huh. Game number four, Packers at the Bears. Bears laying five and a half. David. The Bears team, they are so hot. Their defense hey, is Coach on Joe. fire. I'm going Chicago here. Sully. Touchdown, Lakers. Mexicans. Yeah, yeah really tough to get, uh, pick against Chicago right now. They've been fantastic. Like you said, their defense has been great. Give me Chicago. Emotional come down here. Bears played the game of their season. Packers, maybe a little mojo. The five and a half is usually the devil's lottery number right there. I'll take the points. I'll take the pack. That's right. Oh, I thought there was more to that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank right. you. Uh, l last one, and I wish it wasn't on the sheet, but the guys, well, they forced me to do this. Bills minus two and a half as they host the Lions in a game no one should watch. David. That was awesome. You know what else is awesome? What the hell is that? <laughs> that was Heather Park from the morning show. That right. was awesome. <laughs> Here's what thing. What's awesome here about this game? Uh, is that the best drop we got of her? There's got to be something better. Got to be the only drop we have of her. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That right. was awesome. All mm. right. Thanks, Heather. The Lions are in the playoff hunt, cool. and they are going to do what we don't want them to do. Cool. They're going to win this game. Sorry. Go Lions. Go. Over to Sully. You're wrong again. I'm going to pick my guy, Josh Allen. I think he's going to be a good quarterback in this league, despite what people have thought about him. He's been, he's been rushing for like 130 yards a game. Give me Buffalo. I've circled this game for a month. Sully, he is my witness to this. I've said they were going to lose the Bills for a month. I can't change it now. You're right. Dude, Josh Allen is like Cowboy Cam Newton. But they practice outside, the Lions did. Oh, They've been preparing for this. My bad. <laughs> Look, I'm going to stick with the Bills, man. And, and I'm probably doing it because I hope the Lions lose. Those are the picks. We have to one more time. Oh, my God. How do you pick the Lions? How, how are the Lions going to win this game? The Steelers, they're so hot. <laughs>